It's been a busy few hours for Philadelphia police. Investigators are on the streets after three separate shootings. Eyewitness News reporter Crystal Cranmore is live at police headquarters to give us the details. Crystal. Janelle and Jim were hearing the youngest victim, just 15 years old, shot near a city playground, according to police authorities rushing to that scene, as well as two others, all within an hour's time period. As you can see by the, the bullet holes in the vehicle, it's a miracle that this male's alive. Philadelphia police searched for clues that could lead them to the shooter of shooters, who detectives say opened fire on a 20-year-old man moments after he parked his car. Also, there were 12 holes in the vehicle. The male was shot five times in the back and lower extremities. Police unclear at this point whether this was the result of road rage or some other dispute. Detectives say the victim managed to crawl to safety out the passenger side door. He was scooped by police and driven to Einstein Hospital where he remains in stable condition. About 15 minutes earlier, just three miles away, police rushed to the 1100 block of West Cumberland Street. When police arrived at that location, there was no victim. While they were searching for a scene, they were notified that a 15-year-old shooting victim showed up at Temple Hospital with a gunshot wound to his thigh. He is in stable condition. Detectives say the shooting happened near the playground in Fotorall Square. With no ballistics evidence found at the scene, police are relying on surveillance cameras in the area. Police did find a crime scene consisting of blood, a cell phone, and some identification, which does not belong to the 15 year old shooting victim at about 10 30 p.m. Investigators also got a call for a shooting at 23rd in Huntington in North Philadelphia. Authorities rushed a 24 year old man to Einstein Medical Center in critical condition after police say he was shot in the face, leg, chest and arm. And as police search for the gunmen, they are urging anyone with information to come forward. You can always call their anonymous tip line. We're live outside police headquarters. Crystal Fanmore, CBS3 Eyewitness News. All right, Crystal, thank you.